Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, you might notice a little bit, something a little bit different about how the layout's going, and that is because I got an iPad Air. So, the resolution on the Clash of Clans video is a little bit different, and um, the aspect ratio is also different. So, I have room for, like, a banner. So, that's what you can see on your right, on the right-hand side of your screen. And also, with the, because I, I used to use a Samsung Tab, Galaxy Tab A, which didn't have the option for game sound. So now I have the option to use game sound in my videos. So let me know if that's cool or if I should use game sound and not music or music and not game sound, whatever combination is appropriate. So let me know about that. But anyway, let's get into the video. So this is so this is a war with YM Academy, which is YOLO Mode Academy. It is a second clan of a clan called YOLO Mode. And YOLO Mode is an Italian well, Italian based clan, and they're really good at this specific strategy right here. Queen Charge Lalo. They use it a lot. And I came here sort of to sort of to learn Queen Charge Lalo again as it's probably going to come back into the scene very quickly or maybe not very quickly but eventually I think it'll come back to Tunnel 13 so as Tunnel 13 isn't quite the place for Laloon at the moment I mean, it still works it still can work but it's not a main meta strategy at the moment but as that changes I'd like to learn more about it and uh, get back into it because I haven't been doing it for a very long time. So here we have a lot of Tunnel 12 attacks from this war. Uh, YM Academy versus Ricardo. Ricardo, something like that. Um, and they ended up winning on percent, if you are wondering. It's a no dip war because, no dip war, so we left up at Town Hall 10, I believe, and they left up at Town Hall 12. But they had more percent on the Tunnel 12 than we had on the Tunnel 10, so... They got the win. But that's not the point of the video. The point of the video is to show... The power... Of this Queen Charge Lalo attack strategy. And soon I'll have videos for Tunnel 10 and Tunnel 11 Queen Charge Lalo. Uh, that'll be coming from this clan and this war, actually. Because they do it a lot, as I mentioned. So that was overpowering Queen Charge Lalo. We got two layers of wall breakers. Two layers of wall breakers into that uh, right side compartment at 3 o'clock. At that point, is pretty much over because from there you could reach the Eagle and a second, a second Inferno Tower, yeah. And the Sweeper as well. And here we have Yeti Smash, uh, the first of two Yeti Smashes in this war. Uh, five replays. Just to let you know. So, Queen Charge is starting from 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. And it's meant to sort of create the funnel on the top side. And the entry is going to be by that Inferno at 9 o'clock. King on the bottom side for that funnel. And Wizards to make sure the King stays at the bottom side. Pekka's and Yeti's coming in, along with Boulders, which is very interesting on. Um, Yeti Smash, but the reason is normally you don't bring bowlers to a Yeti Smash because you want to attack straight at the Town Hall, and then you don't need to use the Warden ability on the Town Hall if you don't have any bowlers there, because the healers can heal up the Yetis and the Pekkas, but healers cannot heal dead bowlers, which is what would happen if you had bowlers being attacked by the Gigabomb. So at this point he has bowlers safely away from the town hall because he attacked at, from the side of the town hall rather than straight through it. So healers in the middle, not too many um, seeking air mines yet. And now he brings in the stone slammer the, on the outside. And that'll take care of some outside defenses. So the core is completely gutted and the outside defenses are being taken out by the loons and the stone slammer. And a couple of the heroes are still rolling around. We still have the king, still have the queen, still have the warden. All three heroes at town as well. 
and they're just going to pick off the defenses at the end, and that is going to be it for this base. So to recap for Yeti Smash, the reason why you don't usually bring bowlers is because you attack straight at the town hall. For most cases, you attack straight at the town hall on most bases, particularly at 12, 12 and 13, um, because of the Gigabomb. And because the Gigabomb exists, you don't need to use the Warden ability over the Gigabomb for Yetis and Pekkas because they have so much health they can tank that Gigabomb, but the Bullers can't. So, and that's the power of Yeti Smash. Here we have a slightly different variation of Yeti Smash. We have the, we have no Bullers this time. We have the Warden Walk at 12, funneled along, uh, funneled by a Baby Dragon. So I believe this one is going to come in from the left side at around 10 o'clock. Gonna jump over the the air defense and the uh, DE drill. These SB um, siege barracks at the left side is going to funnel along with the king. So that'll make the funnel really well done and take out that entire corner. So then everything that he drops in from 10 o'clock mm -hmm. into that jump spell is going to go into the base. Rage is over it, and the Quake is placed in the core of the base, opening up like eight different compartments, a lot of them at least. And that'll also open, open up the Town Hall for the Queen to attack it, or the possibility for the Queen to attack it if she gets around to it after taking out all these air skeletons. So the town hall is a little bit sketchy here because it's taking out all the troops in the middle. But basically what's happening here is everything's just converging on the town hall. And Queen with still healers up and the Queen ability is going to be able to take out that town hall and she's going to be able to finish off the rest of the base pretty easily. So the rest of the video, we're going to have, we've already looked at the one queen, a uh, one of the queen charge lalos, and two yeti smashes, the next is going to be a queen charge minor, and the final attack is another queen charge lava. And I forgot to mention that in this clan, I ran a Tunnel 12. Um, I put my Tunnel 12 in this clan. This is a... This is kind of a community league war. It's a small community league setup. Um, I believe it's MLCW um, Winter League, something like that. It's a short format league, so... Or not short format, but short in the length. It's not supposed to be the main season of MLCW. Because Tunnel 13s are still upgrading, so they decided to have a league where Tunnel 12s, 11s, and 10s are um, on the offensive. So nobody has to gem their Tunnel 13s too hard, and people get to scratch that itch of competitive clashing. So here, Queen Charge Minor. Queen Charge coming at 8 o'clock jump over the walls there and to get into the expo farm there that'll lead to the eagle artillery and the town hall plus it gives a really good path for the miners which i hope you can guess where the miners are coming from but in a couple of seconds i'll tell you after the queen charge takes care of the enemy cc and the queen that poison spell is really well placed. Having the both the queen and the CC inside the poison spell made sure that the queen did not have to use the royal cloak for that area. So she can save it for the warden or the king, wherever she needs it. Miners are coming in from the top side because that rectangular path that has been created by the queen 
and it would be a little bit awkward to take or to go straight at the town hall with the area at three o'clock still standing. So early warden ability covers the miners during the two inferno tower area, and then that and then that leads to the first heal spell. So we have one heal spell, and then the second is going to be coming right now onto the town hall and the inferno tower. So we're left with maybe 15 to 20 miners and eight hog riders from the CC. So now pretty much all that's left is the town hall. So the miners and the warden are working on that. We'll see if we can we'll see if they can get it, and they do. So that makes it pretty easy for these hog riders to clean up the rest of the base. Three rages, a jump spell, and two heal spells. That's also what I like to take in my Queen Charge minor raids. And finally, we have another Queen Charge Lalo attack, this time with a Quad Quake. So it's just another variation of the Queen Charge Lalo. So there's a couple of different ways to enter any base. There's the Wall Breakers, which are very popular in the beginning, because that's all we had. Uh, then they fix the jump spell. So the jump spell is actually useful for the queen. So that's a that's a possibility as well. Next is the quad quake. And that opens up a huge area now. So it's completely worth the four spell space if you find the right base for it. And finally we have the stone slammer as well, which can open up walls particularly at Tunnel 12 and below, because Tunnel 13 SS I don't think can actually break open Tunnel 11, level 13 walls, so that's something you should consider when you're building your bases. Of course only a very niche community of clans would actually use that strategy to use the Siege uh, Stone Slammer to take out some walls for the Queen to, for the queen to jump in, or, well, to walk in, but it might be worth considering still. Here the queen takes out the enemy eagle and inverno tower by using the quad quake that was placed between them, opening up both of those compartments. Stone Slammer was used directly on the town hall in order to take that down pretty quickly in the, uh, in the Lalo, but that sacrifices all of the loons inside there. You could have maybe used, like, the Warden ability around that area to try and protect the loons, but it's just not worth it, because he got so much value out of the Queen that he only needed that one haste spell for the rest of the Lalo, even without any of the CC loons. So that one was also quite the raid. Both these Queen Charge Lalos were absolutely wrecked. Absolutely wrecked the bases. So, I hope you enjoyed the new setup for the YouTube, and I hope you learned something. I've been Raze Gaming, and I'm out.